If you want to create countdown emails that will remind your subscribers about the event they registered to, just go ahead and click Campaigns. Then go to the Create Campaign button and click it. Give your campaign a name. I'm going to call it Reminder, one week till the event. Then Next Content. Now you can choose one of these editors over here. And if you have a premium plan, you can also choose a template here. I'm just going to go ahead with this first one here. Now, of course, you're going to be editing these templates. For example, you're going to need to change the wording here. One week left, for example, save and done editing. Now just go ahead and choose the group that this email reminder will go to. Now the only thing to pay attention to is you need to have at least one person in the group. So if this event is called the webinar, webinar July, well you should subscribe yourself to that group at least. So there's at least one person uh, in that group because otherwise if you choose this one you're not going to be able to move forward. So I'm not going to use this group for this example. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go with the book club. Let's say there's a book club event. And I'm going to go and click Review and Confirm. And here's a short overview where you can see the email. Click Preview or send a test email. Once you're ready, go ahead and click Schedule. And here, instead of Send Now, we're going to click Send Later. And if the event is on the, let's say, 25th in two weeks, we're going to go for the 18th, that's one week earlier, and click Schedule. And here we go. All the scheduled emails will be seen in this outbox over here. And once one week passes, this email is going to disappear from here and move to the Sent folder. But for now, it's here. Now, from this screen, the easiest way to make another email really quickly, a similar one, is just to go ahead and click Copy over here. There we go. And what I would do is click Edit here, change the subject line to one day. Go ahead and click Review and Confirm. Of course, you're going to be editing this content. So when people see the email, they're not going to see one week, but one day, right? Let's go back here. Then you're going to schedule the email go into this calendar. It's already set to send later because it was a copy of that other email. So all you need to do now is change the date here. So one day before the 25th, that would be the 24th. Click Schedule. All right, and here we are in the Outbox again. So we're going to go one more time, click Copy here. And again here, I'm just going to click Edit. I'm going to change this to Hour. Click Review and Confirm. And of course, I'm going to change the content of this email. I'm not going to do it now, but that's what you need to do. And change the title. Instead of one week left, you need to have one hour left, right? And then Schedule. Now here, we're going to change the date to the 25th. And the time, this is military time, so this, this would be 4 p.m. Uh, instead of 4 p.m., we're going to go to 3 p.m or 15 hours in, in military time. And that's it. All you need to do is go ahead and click Schedule. Make sure, make sure you're uh, in the right time zone. So click Schedule. And just go ahead and review these times so you're sure these emails are going to go out at the right time. Now, one more thing you can do, you can send these three emails, but you might also want to have an email saying, the, the, the event has just started. I like those emails because that's that last reminder which, which lets your audience know that, hey, this event is already going on. Go ahead and click and log into the event and uh, say hello, right, or, or whatever you want to put in that email. And that's pretty much it. That's the fastest and easiest way, in my opinion, to create some reminder emails for the audience that registered to one of your events. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.